I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Welcome to another edition of DCWA Full Throttle. DCWA. DCWA. Welcome to another. Just had some audio issues there. Welcome to another edition of DCWA Full Throttle. I'm your host, the Motor City Madman, coming to you with another stacked card highlighted by current TV champion. Representing Shooters, the Mask Warrior, taking on Richard Wright of Money Stars in our main event tonight. So we got a poll inside the chat. So I want you to uh, answer that question. Who do you think will leave as a television champ, Richard Wright or the Mask Warrior? We also got on our card tonight. Women's Championship Tournament matches. We've got some tag team matches. But without further ado, we've got a debut. We've promised you on the last broadcast, we got a debut of the board. Mysterious group coming for who knows what in the DCWA. And this is how we're going to kick off our show tonight. So sit back and enjoy Fire Pro Wrestling action from the DCWA. Making their debut tonight. Making their debut tonight is the board. As you can see, the board, somewhat mysterious. We don't know who these people are. As you can see, the board. So, we're going to be anxious. What, what, is the, what are their goals? What are they here for? guess only time will tell but feast your eyes on the board as they make their DCWA debut to the ring the board we got Dean Shane Austin and Bob Captain Redneck Bob the board is here all these guys are Local wrestlers from the great state of Ohio and their opponents tonight making their way to the ring from the land where every man dwells. They are the ultimate every man. They are the jobbers and they go to work. Don't know much about these wrestlers and I'm referring to the board. I know they're local uh, Midwestern talents from the Ohio wrestling area. I don't like to say Ohio Valley. That could stretch down. I know they've done some work uh, in Ohio Valley wrestling. They've done some work in other federations and leagues across here. And we got uh, Bob, Captain Redneck Bob starting. Dropping in elbow. 
oh against one of the jobbers that would be oh nice sent on there these guys the uh well the jobbers looking to showcase their skills and become on the winning end of things as we see uh camel clutch there on, jo on local jobber or jobber one Oh, we got the Jacobs brothers uh, over on the side of Jobbers, and I believe that's Austin being tagged in. Put a uh, nice put together dude as we see a double team coming from Bob and Austin of the uh, board. Oh, nice move there. They're already showing they're working as a cohesive unit. These guys have been working together for years. Said they got one more member to introduce. That's their manager. They call him the CEO. Or her, we don't know. They they were very mysterious. They just said they. So uh, could be uh, him or her. So we don't know. They said that it'll be in the coming weeks. You'll see the CEO of the board, and they will lay out their exact plan for the DCWA. But they've hinted. When I tried to talk to him, they just hinted that Hollywood Bill Mercer will be very surprised when he sees who the CEO of the board is and ultimately what they want in DCWA is that is Dean in the ring Dean on the side of the board as he does a back suplex there to local jobber he pull local jobber out to uh, the D in the ring and he doing a single leg crab there uh, the jobber local jobbers out as Dean just stares a hole through him think the board is gonna gonna work on intimidation as we see uh, local jobber being maneuvered around the ring and he tries a chest slap that does nothing to Dean there Dean backing him into the corner trying to go for a tag or, or cut him off from the ring if you see these guys circling each other trying to come for some strategy as uh, Jacobs is tagged in again Jacobs coming with the fire and offense. His brother George Jacobs. That's Brett Jacobs in there now. Doing those forearm shivers. But oh! Jumps uh, Dean showing magnificent athleticism with that jumping Frankensteiner as he tags in uh, Shane. Shane coming in. Shane, a very famous wrestler on the Ohio and Michigan independent circuit. Gonna see about uh, adding DCWA to his list of destinations. As we see Brett Jacobs in there trying to soften him. Oh, so the RKO there out of nowhere as local jobber is actually the legal person, legal man in the ring. He's being backed into the corner of the board. Not a good idea. Front face lock by Dean. Excuse me, by Shane. Oh, jawbreaker there by Shane. I mean by local jobber run off the ropes. Drop kick there. Local jobber trying, going in guard, pulling guard, but just pushed off. Captain Redneck Bob is tagged in. Bob looking a little rough there. Double suplex look like it's coming up. Yes. Executed by Shane and Bob. Or that may be Austin. I think that's Austin. Actually. But we got Bob in there now. He's being whipped off the ropes by the local jobber. Jobber drops down. Bob stops his momentum from running those ropes. Local jobber may want to make a tag. Uh, doesn't have the greatest endurance or, or, or ability to take punishment. He may want to make a quick tag. Looks like he's going, but cut off by Bob there. Bob with those head butts. Bob a little rough. Rough house styles. He's, he's, he's cranking up for something. Oh, so Lariat there taking down local jobber. Local jobber goes in, makes a tag at jobber one. Both of them, they're trying to double team. Double power bomb on Bob. Jobber going to the top, but uh, local jobber, a little miscommunication there as he uh, messed the setup for a top row, but Bob whipped into the corner by local jobber. Shoulder tackle, shoulder block, excuse me, coming in. You just see George Jacobs in this match, leader of the jobbers. Oh, jumping pile driver there by Bob, and he goes for the cover. Brett Jacobs in there to break it up. Now George Jacobs, well, now he comes out. Brett Jacobs trying to build some momentum for his team as the legal men are oh suplex outside the ring by uh, local jobber and they 
The Jacobs brothers are trying to take it to Captain Redneck there. Oh! We got chaos in the ring happening. Mr. Controversy, our referee. Oh! Bob just doing those jabs there. Getting back into the ring. We got a little... What's going on with our uh, video here is a little choppy, but it will hopefully get back to normal. It's got some rendering issues, no doubt. Hope this doesn't keep up. Okay, one, two. Oh, Captain Redneck almost pinned. So we got all men in the ring. Chaos, this match is just going. As we see Shane tag in. Shane is put together, He's running the ropes. Oh, elbow drop. I think Jabber one is the legal man, the one in the purple trunks. Oh, just a big slam there. As he then goes and tries it, he tries for a uh, backslide, but he is the illegal man. Oh, I guess he's the legal man. I don't. Oh, Shane climbing that top rope. Diving elbow drop on local jobber. Going for a second diving elbow drop, no doubt. Oh, right in the gut of local jobber. The board wants to make a statement in their first encounter in the DCWA. Shane whipping local jobber off the clothesline. Austin tagged in. A local driver loves that backslide on the wrong person as Austin signals the end. Double. Oh, local driver break free. Needs to tag in the freshest man in here is George Jacobs. Hasn't even entered the ring. Wonder what's up with that. Drop toe hole there by local jobber. Jobbers. Uh, it would be nice if the jobbers got a victory. Very good for their, their standing in the DCWA if they got a victory in the debut of such a stable as the board, as the uh, Dean, uh, no, not Dean, excuse me. Shane is tagged back in by Austin. Shane whipped off the ropes, but Austin smartly tying local jobber up so he's not aware of Shane running off the ropes and a shoulder block there just knocks him down. Just another shoulder block to knock him down. Picks him back up. Does a chop to a chest that has no effect. George Jacob, the freshest one tagged in. Let's see if he can get some offense. Neck breaker there. I mean, a uh, jaw breaker there. Followed by forearm shivers. A rake to the eyes. See if he can get some offense. He's whipped off the ropes by Shane. Close line. Offense stop. Shane running off the ropes. Drop elbow. Missed that close line there. George Jacobs with a slap, but followed by a forearm from Shane as a uh, standing vertical suplex there letting all that blood rush to his head showing his strength off slams him to the ground running off the rope by that elbow drop again he seems to like that maneuver George Jacobs trying to mount some offense with those kicks to the gut and inverted atomic drop coming forward looks like a suplex oh brain buster George Jacobs with the brain buster Shane right up and just forearms him just elbows and forearms him Tagged in Dean. Dean's coming in. Dean tying up with George Jacobs. Going for oh. A driver there. Waiting off the ropes. Elbow drop by uh Austin. I mean, excuse me, by Shane. Dean in there. Miscalculated that. Got another reverse atomic drop drop there. Tagging in local jobber. Uh jobber one. Oh, they're trying to double team Dean. Jabber one going to the top rope, diving elbow on Dean. Like I said it would be a coup if uh, the Jobbers were able to pick off, uh, uh, come up with a victory, pick up a victory over the debuting uh, board, and that would break any momentum that they could build with this match. Super kick by Dean, drop kick by Jobber. Excuse me, the Jobbers not letting that happen. Forearm shiver there, tagging George Jacobs. George now seeming to get his second win. Austin tagged in. They're trying to double team on Dean, but he is the illegal man. George Jacobs whipped off the rope by uh, Shane. I mean by Austin. 
gonna take me a minute to get all these guys uh, situated backbreaker there on George Jacobs Austin with a northern light suplex for the pin one two and it's over though 2.9 George Jacobs kicks out or I should say he was assisted by his brother and jobber one Brett Jacobs on the receiving end of a northern light suplex where George Jacobs takes the time to pull Austin to the center of the ring and just knocks him down with a forearm strike to the face Chain tag back in. Oh, George Jacobs mounting some offense. The jobbers may look to steal this way, steal this one away, excuse me, from uh, the debuting board. Board making their debut, highly anticipated debut. And if you just joined us, we got the uh, CEO of the board uh, not here yet waiting to make an auspicious debut I'm told oh DDT there on Shane by Jabber one Shane going to make the tag to Austin double team broken up by Jabber one and he's feeling it he's going to the top rope oh diving elbow on Shane but Austin's the legal man he's pulling his attention to, to Shane but Austin is the legal man Austin with just a knee and he's letting you know he's going to try to finish off the jobber. Collar and elbow towel. DDT by the jobber in the corner. Snap jabs there. Snap hooks. Austin looking the worst for wear. Jobber waiting on him to get up. Could be that swing that bray. Yes. Coming. He needs to pull him in the center. He's going up again. Diving elbow. See, when you go to the well too many times, you don't get any water. And he's tagged him, Captain Redneck, Bob Murdoch here. Bob Murdoch, Captain Redneck, huge wrestler on the Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana, Indiana, Indiana wrestling scene. Smart move to tag George Jacobs in. Swing neck breaker by. Uh, Captain Redneck Bob Murdoch is he going to the top rope diving on to local jobber or jobber but the legal man is George Jacobs the jobbers have been doing a good job of confusing the board as to who's a legal man and who isn't right now and remember tonight's main event the TV title is on the line as we have Richard Wright of Money Stars challenging the mass warrior for the television title so stay tuned to that uh, in our main event tonight also at the end of our broadcast we have an announcement on DCWA Gold Rush its premiere when it will happen when all the titles are on the line in the DCWA the champions are made to defend these titles there's no hiding there must be winners titles will change titles will be retained so stay tuned for more info at the end of our broadcast on DCWA Goal Rush as we have Dean was tagged in during that little segue moment there and he's in there with George Jacobs with George Jacobs into his corner Dean just slamming into those turnbuckles slamming down what does he got coming oh pulling George to the center of the ring that may be it going for a Texas Claw relief there high angle Texas oh into a slam it like a I've never seen a two three and your winner in a pretty dominating debut the board and we're gonna see what the board has in store for DCWA what they're looking to achieve and who the mysterious CEO of the board is but the board your winners tonight in their DCWA debut Texas Cloverleaf Hole was a win. That's a, a move I haven't seen. And we got our Dojo Showcase match coming up. Dojo Showcase. DCWA Dojo, our feeder federation to the DCWA roster. We have a DJ a DCWA D Dojo Showcase match every week. And let's see who we have here. We have representing our DCWA show called Rojos Rijos. From Puerto Rico. Nothing, not much known about Rojos Rijos, Red Rivers. 
I guess red is his favorite color. And his opponent making his way from Southern California. Trent Draker calls himself the great grappler. So we got our DG DCWA Dojo Showcase. And remember, if you see any talents that you want us to move up to the main roster, leave them in the comments. Even if the comments are, if you're watching this uh, after the live broadcast, leave it in the comments. Do you want to see Rojos Rijos or uh, Trent Draker or both move up to our main roster and join one of our factions? We're going to see after this match what these guys show us as we see Rios with a drop toe hole. Whoa, and Trent Draker just pulls him down by that mask. See, these guys go for a test of strength here. Oh, drop toe hole by Trent Draker. He calls himself the great grappler. So let's see what um, what grappling he has with pinfall early. No count. Our uh, referee has missed a controversy tonight. Big game. Body slam by Rojos, Rojos Rijos. As he's doing a chin lock, but nothing. This guy's pretty evenly matched up so far, but we're only in uh, not even two minutes in. So, sure, that feeling out process, but Trent Draker going for a single leg crab early. Collar and elbow tab. Whipped into the corner. Just slams him down. Slams him down again. Trent Draker obviously showing he's got a little more strength than Rojos Rios. Both men collar and elbow tap. Slamming forearm to the back. As he goes for that unique pinfall cover. They're getting a, almost a one count. But not so far. Hasn't hurt Draker enough. Neither one of you. Oh, neck breaker there. That might be the tie to get Draker going for a cover. 2-1. It's a one count out there. But quickly kicking out is Rojos Rios. Nope. Oh. Got that uh, headlock on the canvas on him. We got some alarm going off on my oh. Forearm down, chin lock again by Rojos Rios on Trent Draker. Again, don't know much about these individuals. Uh, from our DJ w DCWA Dojo Showcase. Remember, we got our women's tournament match. Our the tournament will be decided at Gold Rush. So we crown the first ever DCWA Women's Champion at Gold Rush. Very excited to see that happen. All titles on the line at Gold Rush. And hopefully, one day these guys can be in title contention in the DCWA. If they could move up to the main roster. As we see that same single leg crab there working on that leg of Rojos Rijos is Trent Draker. Hmm. Yes, he's definitely targeting the leg. Got to see what Rojos Rijos has in his arsenal. He's just whipped into the corner by Draker. And then just, whoa, this repeated head, this repeated thrown into that turnbuckle. As Draker seems to be taking control here. Oh, Rose Rios trying to break his momentum with a front face lock and an elbow. And it's just a kick. Nice insulting kick to the face there. Eye rake there. So we know Rose Rios will take the shortcut if needed. And a drop kick to the knee. Now he seems like he's targeting Trent Draker's knee. Draker with an eye rake too. So he's fighting fire with fire. Those turnbuckle shots again from Draker on Rose Rios. Then the chin lock there uh, Mr. Contreras asking does Rios give it up but no he doesn't rising forearm strike there by Draker as he brings Rose to the center of the ring going for a back oh whips him into the corner thought he was going for a back suplex there but now he's with <laughs> Rose Rios trying to do the same thing not just stomping Trent Draker down the corner and putting his foot on his throat uh, he's definitely got the ire up of Rojos Rijos. Oh, it's nice submission there. But Drake are moving to that rope, but getting powering out of that submission attempt there. Oh, oh! That might be it. He rolls him up, covers the hook's leg. Two, 
three. Oh, whoo, a very close count there. Whoops him off the ropes. Oh, reverse atomic drop by Trent Draker, and he's going for a go by neck breaker. Might be going for a cover. No, picks him up. Rose Rios with that snap suplex there. Decides to bring Draker up. Miss. Oh, no, I thought he was going to miss. He Draker kind of ran into that drop kick. Rose Rios running again. Drop kick to the face coming up. Jumping in Seguri. Step up in Seguri. I'm sorry. Pulls Draker up. Drop kick to the knee again. I think we can see Rose Rios getting his offense. Oh, nice. Nice escape from that attempted clothesline. He just rolled out the way there. Rose Rios showing off some of his agility here. Might be the much more agile one. He seems to be softening up Trent Draker. But Draker whips him off the rope. But not time that wrong. But it. That's not. He knocked him on the canvas. Draker going go behind again, whipping him off the rope. Let's see what Draker has in store. Drop down. Reverse atomic drop there. Oh, gets out of uh, Rose Reels to Tempest Slam. Rose Reels going to the back, but Trent Draker counters just with a fall back. Counter that back suplex attempt. Draker seemed to be a little step ahead of Reels as we. Going for a jumping pile driver there. Might be it. He's going for a cover. No. Picks him up. Going for that. Oh, just a slam. And he's telling him he's, he's signaling for his finisher. He runs off the rolls. What do we have? Oh, nice counter there by El with an elbow from Rios. Rios going for. Oh, Scorpion Death Drop. Oh, low, low there by Trent Draker. Very competitive match here from our Dojo Showcase participants. He's going for that submission there. Mr. Conversi asking him, does he give up? Trent Draker just out again. Rios a little worse for wear, probably a little more tired. Both these men are battling the battle of the farms. Who's going to win this battle? Rose Rios says no. Jumping in Seguri. Trent Draker, no discus clothesline. Does he collapse to the canvas too, trying to get his breath? Oh, slice bread. Standing slice bread. And he hooks his leg. One, two, three. Oh, no. Nice maneuver there. Trent Draker's up. Jump, uh, step up in Seguri. Pulls him up. Snap jabs there. Draker trying to build some more momentum after that combo he just took. Blocks it and just socks him. Oh, low blow there from a kick. Trent Draker will do anything to win. Some up gut wrench suplex. Oh, body slam there by Rose Rios. Drop kick again to that knee. He's trying to go for that lock that he does on the knee. Whips him off the ropes. Draker. Oh, misses with that Yakuza kick, but doesn't. Miss with that eye rake. Front face lock there. Elbow to the back. Oh, Centon there by Trent Draker. Showing us some moves. Another Centon. Coming up again. Jumping pile driver. That might be it for those reels as he's being pulled away from the ropes. Trent Draker. No, not going for a cover. Probably a mistake there. Throwing out the ring. So he can catch his breath. But Rose Reels is quickly back in. Blocks that again. Telegraphing that move. This is why it's blocked. <laughs> Running Centon. Also from Rose Rios. Picks him up. Scorpion death drop. Oh. Picks him up. Should have went for the cover. Gut wrench suplex there by Draker. The fans in the arena are enjoying this match as you can hear. Oh. Northern Lights. No, I mean, not Northern Lights, uh, uh, three, I'm sorry, three count with a bridging German suplex. Your winner, Rojos Rios, in a successful Dojo Showcase matchup. And I'm told that we're going to have a Dojo Showcase match as our pre-show for um, Gold Rush. So that'll, that ought to be cool. As your winner, Rojos Rios, in our Dojo Showcase.
We are back with our women's showcase, women's tournament match, I should say. That was Dojo Showcase. Tournament match. Sorry about that OBS studio issues um, and some wireless issues. So we're going to have our women's tournament match now. And we're moving through our women's tournament, which was well, the final matches will be held at Gold Rush. And we will crown the first DCWA Women's Champion. But we have representing Stardom, the Star Mask Idol, Starlight Kid, gracing her presence, making her presence known in the DCWA. We're excited DCWA has pulled out all the stops to bring you international talent. And it will be something if one of these women won the tournament, they will take the DCWA women's title back to start us. Stardom. And we got another stardom star coming out. Stardom Dream, Tam Nakano. So we're gonna have a star a stardom uh tournament, which well, which whoever wins, stardom will still be represented in the next rounds. So we got the Starlight Kid in the mask. We got Tam Nakano. This ought to be a very exciting match as these two women are some of the best wrestlers in the world. And it will be something, as I was just saying, if one of these two women were to walk away with the DCWA Women's Championship, that means that uh, it would be defended in stardom as well as the DCWA. So, exciting possibility though. Neckbreaker bridge pin there. These women, you're going to see some of the most innovative wrestling moves that you've seen from these women from stardom. Got Tam Nakano there in the white slamming the Starlight Kid. Starlight Kid with that running forearm type maneuver, lunging forearm, I should say. Elbow to the back, elbow drop to the back of the head. These two have had wars over the years in stardom, and they're bringing that, that excellent. Start oh count one one count the excellent stardom style to the DCWA and she's just thrown out of the ring but the star like kid is not going to uh, let anyone deter her from her goals Let's just see those kicks there and those lunging forearms got Tam Nakano on the canvas Nakano with the back elbow whipping starlight kid off the rope or a spinning kick of her own and knock starlight kid down cover coming there one no not even a one count from mr controversy whipped her starlight kid into the corner starlight kid with a quick counter seems like the starlight kid is just a hair quick bit quicker than tam nakano's we see that diving sent down with a one count with starlight kid into the corner but just oh it's a nice round kick to knock nakano down Kano though, no slouch here. Gonna try to use a little more power probably against Starlight Kid. Oh, Starlight Kid on the winning end of that one. Pulls her to the center of the ring. Stomping the back of that leg, that hamstring. See Tam Nakano trying to go for some type of leg lock, but just countered by the Starlight Kid who seems to be one step ahead of Nakano so far. Snapmare there, Nakano stomp to the gut. Whipping Starlight Kid into that opposite corner. Oh, gives her those lunging forearms. And that's just a slap to the back for good measure. Running forearms again on Nakano. Going for a go behind, but Nakano counters. Barely missed with that spin kick, but that neck breaker bridge pin. One, two, might be it. Three. Ooh, very close. Very close. Nakano has to mount some type of offense more than what she's doing because the Starlight Kid seems to have her number. That kick to the gut might do it. Nakano on the top row. Oh, missed the double diving knees. Starlight Kid going up to the top rope. Oh, sort of a spinning splash in the air. Very innovative offense. Oh, just a slap. Just slapped the taste out of her mouth. Whipped her into the corner. Tom Nakano is in trouble. And just pulls on the rope. What's coming? 619. 619 by Starlight Kid. Running off the ropes again. Ooh. Whoa. Starlight Kid using that Lucha Libre type style to confuse or, or just outwork Nakano here. But Nakano with those lunging forms as well. 
just not able to capitalize starlight kid whipping her off drop kick to the knee stops any momentum she would have had rolls her over pulls her up oh drop to hold there by nakano oh and just a kick to the face and then that leg lock there kind of like a reverse figure four starlight kid not gonna give it up kick to the gut oh that kick down just a push down type kick more humiliating than hurting reverse she reversed that go behind forearms nakano drop kick to the back by starlight kid Well, oh, just whoa just a martial arts barrage there by nakano nakano double knees this time it connects what a back and forth encounter we have here with these two women representing stardom oh oh one of these women in advance giving stardom a chance to hold the first ever dcwa woman's title we got to see which one is it going to be the starlight kid or is it going to be tam nakano oh! whoa frog splash but missed there barely missed oh no you haven't it oh a critical that's it nakano was knocked out the star like kid wow with that oh my goodness now the power one out in that one a starlight kid had a great run in that match but just got the ko by tam nakano your winner in advancing to the next round of the women's tournament tam nakano wow what a match short but hard hitting match there and now the dcwa tag team championships are gonna be on the line as doa defends against ak-47 and ak-47 the challengers on their way to the ring omar and uh let me see omar goodson and Tarek. AK-47 on their way to the ring. Now, this might be a, a, a tough challenge for DOA. DOA has been pretty dominant since winning the Tag Team Championships a while ago from the Space Invaders. Uh, but they've been pretty dominant. But they may have their hands full with uh, almost equal in size, as you see on his way to the ring. Edward Bannon and Lloyd Banks. The DCWA Tag Team Champion from the stable DOA. Uh, but they got some dudes in equal size, maybe slightly bigger. And both these teams are hard-hitting physical teams. So we're going to see uh, if DOA can survive the onslaught that I think that AK-47 is going to bring. See that test of strength there. We got... Uh, Tariq in the ring right now Tarek Omar on the outside another test of strength there and that is Lloyd Bannon Lloyd Banks I'm sorry in there oh loves that European uppercut so we see going to make the tag to his partner Ed Bannon Terry smart whips tries to stay in his own corner even with Bannon in there but Banna smart a smart tag team wrestler DOA trying to get a double team as they like to do European uppercut there he's gonna bring him away from that corner a smart move oh the first double team officially comes from AK-47 as as Omar's tagged into the ring Omar Goodson no stranger to fights and wars AK-47, one of our DJ Dojo, uh, DCWA, Dojo uh, teams that were voted by the fans to come in uh, as a tag team. And now they're receiving a title shot. Oh, Dragon Screw Leg Whip by Bannon as he goes to tag in Lloyd Banks. But uh, Omar there to break up. That double team, but dragon screw leg whip on Omar by Bannon. And these guys just are going to get a double team. Pinfall there, probably not enough. One count. Oh, surprised he even had enough of that on AK-47 at this point. Kitchen sink knee strike. Tagging in uh, Tarek again. Double team, double power bomb. AK-47 and a figure four. 
they're they're pulling a page out of doa's own book and i said this may be a, a slightly or uh, this may be a tough matchup for doa as they got some guys in there their size oh 3d there as soon as i said that the momentum shifts but no omar omar fighting out is that Tarek? Tarek fighting back we got ed band in there against Tarek willis of AK-47 DOA holders of a lot of championships in DCWA the trios championship the tag championships now the gold rush the trios championship will not be defended uh, because the tag team championships if they hold them will be defended so we got to see what's going to happen but uh, management has put more presence on those tag team championships to be defended at gold rush we're going to have the real shoot champion leader of doa uh um, leroy brown and i'm told leroy brown is going to have a challenger worthy of the way leroy brown wrestles so i'm gonna i'm, I'm not going to spoil the surprise but he's going to have a a well-known tough wrestler internationally traveled coming in a challenge for that real shoot championship at gold rush we got the hardcore championship going to be decided at gold rush as dark Sheik is going to defend this title in a steel cage match oh brain buster there by banks and an elbow drop on Tarek. no it's omar Tarek tagged in Tarek willis tagged in Sorry, I got him confused earlier. What we who we see now is Tarek Willis. Tagged in. The spike there, dude. Double team again. They are trying to beat DOA at their own game. DOA masters of double teams. But Tarek going for the cover one. Oh, one count. Bank, uh, Banks kicks out easily. As he goes, tags in his, his partner, Lloyd Bannon. AK-47. Oh, cover there. One, two. Oh, no, not a two count. AK-47 would be uh, the shortest, I mean, debuting, uh, they're looking for championship gold. Got to believe if, if that would really build up their reputation, sit out, slam there, that would build up their reputation if they were able to defeat DOA, but oh, just a spinning side chop by, Lloyd ba uh, by Ed Bannon. Bannon going for, looks like a power bomb. Oh, power bomb. Sit out power bomb. One, two, retain. Ch oh, Omar comes in to break up. That would have been a pinfall. Lloyd Banks tagged in. All four men are in the ring. Sidewalk slam there by Tarek Willis, but uh, I believe Lloyd Banks and Tarek Willis are the legal men. Is Tarek going to make a t uh, tag to Omar? Omar Goodson coming in. Oh, broken up. They tried another double team was broken up, but I think Lloyd Banks has the wrong dude. Oh, quick tag into Ed Bannon again. All four men are in the ring. And so we see DOA is unleashing on AK-47. And this is what DOA does so well. This is why they're so hard to beat. The double teaming, the, 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 continuity, they, the continuity that they have as tag team partners. Oh, DDT there by Omar Goodson. Needs to make a tag, but going for a cover. One, uh, just very strong kick out. Not enough punishment on DOA. These guys are tough, too. Suplex. Pulling him to that three. Near that 313 logo there. Detroit City Wrestling Alliance. 313 in the house. So Omar Goodson of AK-47 making a tag to Terry Willis. As Lloyd Banks is tagged back in. The two legal up, oh, figure four leg lock, but on the wrong. Oh, just knocked him. Like almost took his head off of that clothesline. Lloyd Banks going to capitalize. Drop kick there on that little misstep by Tarek Willis. Oh, Tarek Willis with a counter. Headbutt there. Pulling Lloyd Banks out, giving himself some space. Might want to do some more frequent tabs to. To confuse DOA as they're doing, as Terry Willis just throws Banks out the ring like he's a nothing. But uh, Bannon going to the top rope. 
these guys double teams are, are amazing moves them off the ropes that's what I mean that continuity just walk right into there oh DDT by Tarek Willis AK-47 trying to dethrone the current DCWA Tag Team Champions in our Tag Team Championship match here on full throttle just a spinning forearm oh drop kick by Terry Willis needs to make a tag and he does to Omar Goodson and to capitalize Wyatt no but he escapes again and gets a uh, double team coming magic killer on Omar Goodson but Tariq Willis is the legal man all four men in the ring got that knee bar that no I'm sorry Omar Goodson is the legal man that knee bar there to slow him down Lloyd Banks trying to go in for the kill but uh, Omar Goodson not having none of it drop kick there All four men in, in the ring again. Lloyd Banks feeling it, but he's in the, trapped in that suplex. But Bannon just comes right up and gets Tariq and just, oh, there's a de devastating chop block there to the knee and the Kasai chop. And that knee bar. That knee bar, that might be it. Banks, Banks stopping the interference, but good, Goodson going for the super kick on Banks. Sidewalk slam there by Terry Willis. Oh, AK-47 getting some momentum on the champs. Suplex, yes. We might have new champions. The momentum seems to be going in the way of AK-47 for a second. And I'm sure as soon as I say that, yeah, yeah, well, as soon as I said it, Bannon counters, get himself out of a sticky situation over there in that corner in the wrong part of town. Smart move, these quick tags by both teams seemingly. Getting another magic killer on, but it's the illegal man they seem to be doing that on. Super kick there by Omar Goodson. And a cover. One, two, new champions. Oh, a kick out right at the last second uh, by Banks on Goodson. G going for that. Oh, that kind of like underhook brain buster DDT sort of maneuver. Tags banning in. Double team coming up here. No, broken up by Goodson. Going for a suplex, and he makes it. Banks still in, though. Just tosses tosses Goodson out the ropes. Put him in a Texas Cloverleaf on the outside while Tariq is doing a suplex to bat on the inside. These two teams are fighting hot and heavy for those prestigious Detroit City Wrestling Alliance Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. So we see go behind there. Is that a 10 count at 11 account? Don't Goodson may be getting counted out. Got a 20 count of DCWA on the outside. And he's back in to continue this match. We love to see clean or at least pinfalls, submissions, or KOs in a DCWA. None of that count out crap, especially in championship matches. That's lazy booking. Put in there. Magic killer on Tariq. Oh, whoo, Tariq saved his uh, partner from Power Driver, but uh, Lloyd going to the top, diving elbow to the back of Tariq Willis. Main event, two big bruisers tonight, Mass Warrior. After this encounter, the TV titles on the line, two big bruisers, Richard Wright, former television champion, uh, back in season two. And current television champion, Mass Warrior, two big behemoth muscle dudes going at it. As not, after this match, but we saw oh, 451, two. Oh, that was beautiful, but broken up by Omar Goodson as he just suplexes Ban outside the ring. This might be their chance. They have a double team advantage they need to take advantage of. Running power slam there. Tags in Omar Goodson. Very good tag there. Omar Goodson whips uh, Bannon into the ropes. Both of them. Oh, Bannon just moved. Very slick. Move out the way. Next week. Next broadcast. I am told that um, I can reveal who Leroy Brown's opponent will be at Gold Rush. I'm excited to announce that. 
Also, we will have more information on the remaining women's tournaments matches that will be decided at Gold Rush. So we got Gold Rush in two episodes. We're going to have the debut of a group called Lucha Nova as well. Oh! TKO maneuver Shades of Taiokea right there by Lloyd Banks on Omar Goodson as uh, Ed Bannon tagged into the ring. Omar really needs to get, and he does make a tag to Tariq. At this point, it's anyone's ball game. Who's going to leave with the tag team titles? Is it going to be AK-47? Or is it going to be DOA? A one, two. Uh oh, three. Oh, 2.9. Banner almost pinned. It's been some close falls here. It's been some close falls. AK-47. Seemingly having the number. Oh, body slam there. As soon as I said that the counter tag into Lloyd Banks. Double team coming. No. Tariq's able to break it up. By starting a little skirmish with um, Banks. Whoa, whoo, close line there. Mm, suplex. Going to the top rope. Oh, decides against it. Got chaos off for a minute in the ring. Running power slam. I forget who's legal. This might be the time for AK-47 to make a move. Oh! 450. Brother breaks it up. What a hotly contested tag team title match. We still got more to come. Your main event still coming. I guess. <laughs> Running power slam. Tag in to Ed Bannon. As we see those palm strikes, a drop kick to the knee, AK-47. Omar Goodson in trouble as uh, DOA getting a pinfall. One, two, three. Whoa, very hotly contested encounter. But your winners and retaining their championship. DOA. But AK-47 put in a good showing and so far. They've been the toughest opponents for DOA in your main event tonight, as we promise you. Coming up after this match, and we see a successful title defense by DOA. And in your main event, in your the main event, the DCWA Television Championship is on the line. As we're gonna have Mask Warrior defend this title against the prototype, Richard Wright. So we get ready for our ring intros. The challenger representing Money Stars from St. Louis, Missouri. The prototype, Richard Wright. Himself a former television champion back in season two. Had a good run with the TV title. Let's see if he can regain it and uh, take it back to where he was trying to get it. As a stepping stone to the heavyweight title and his opponent. And you're reigning and defending DCWA television champion. From parts unknown, representing the shooters. This is the masked warrior. So this is going to be a hard-hitting match with these two big behemoths. Power moves and slamming forearms are going to be order today. You probably won't see Tope con Hilos and all this other lucha type maneuvers from these two big dudes. You see a shoulder tackle, Richard Wright. Uh, somewhat of a rivalry in the past with Masked Warrior. These guys have gone to war in tag team encounters for the tag team titles and other television uh, championship matches. And here we go again with these two big dudes. See both the heavily muscled dudes. We see that just high angle body slam there and an elbow drop by Mass Word, but doesn't even phase Richard Wright. Right with that form. Got to believe this is not going to be a long match with these two. 
uh, these hard and heavy maneuvers that they're doing to each other. Uh, gotta believe this is gonna be a, a short encounter. Both these men. Oh, that got that stomach claw on there going for that stomach claw, but he just pushed off by Richard Wright. The prototype Richard Wright looking to get back in championship contention. And he could do that by winning the TV championship, putting him that close, close to the heavyweight title, which was regained by the Wraith. Um, regained by the Wraith. Uh, previous episodes. So uh, we got a good mix of what's going on with my thing with the DCWA here. We can see the uh, these two big behemoths are going at it in the ring for the DCWA TV Championship. And we're back. Uh, a lot of technical difficulties on this end. So we got Richard Wright versus the Mass Warrior for the TV championship in our main event or last match of the show. Uh, who's going to come out the victor? We've got a stomach claw by Richard, I mean by uh, Mass Warrior on Richard Wright. So we see the Mass Warrior just lifting Richard Wright, which is no easy feat, just lifting him by his neck. Current TV champion, the Mask Warrior. Oh, shoulder breaker there, putting his title on the line against the prototype Richard Wright in our last and final encounter of our broadcast, the main event. Who's going to leave the TV champion? Backbreaker and a body slam there. As we're going for a cover, it hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, Richard Wright, the prototype kicks out. He's got to mount some offense as he's trying, but uh, just got countered there by the Mask Warrior. Mask Warrior pulling right up. Mass Warrior sort of dominating this performance right now. But the TV championship is must giving him new vigor. Oh, but as soon as I said it, a clothesline by Richard Wright. But Mass Warrior right back up. Got to believe this won't be a long match between these two big behemoths. Whips him off the ropes. Oh, Mass Warrior stops it. Both of them miss with their strikes. Whips him into the corner. Oh, Mass Warrior counters there. Elbow drop by Mask Warrior. Another elbow drop. Richard Wright's in trouble. All oh, those clubbing forearms. And a drop, to the, a knee drop to the back, I should say. Richard Wright ripping him off the ropes. Clothesline. Knee drop of his own, but Mask Warrior's right up. Whips him off the ropes again. And a shoulder tackle. Shoulder block, I should say. Oh, airplane spin. Airplane spin by Mask Warrior on Richard Wright. Mask Warrior's a strong man to do that to heavily... Big fell. Oh, now Richard Wright shows his strength by just lifting him up by his neck. Battle of the Behemoths in this one. Who's going to come out the victor? Are we going to have a new TV champion to close out our broadcast? Or the Mask Warrior Retail? Oh, he's got that bad bear hug on there. That bear hug. Richard Wright might be giving it up. No. He just falls out of that bear hug. Oh, just a clubbing forearm to knock him down. Running off the ropes, Mask Warrior. Oh! Lifts him up for that power bomb. Oh, sit out power bomb. One, two, three. Oh, almost. 
retain the title there. Richard Wright has to do something. The Mask Warrior is, is showing, building up momentum. Oh, just another clubbing forearm. Knocking Wright down. Wright showing off that strength, but he needs to go for some submissions or some type of maneuvers to uh, counter. The Mask Warrior with the cover after the elbow drop. Very nonchalant. Three. Oh, almost barely. Going for the sit out power bomb again. Oh, got him. One, two, three. Wow. Your winner. And new, I mean, and, excuse me, and retains the uh, TV championship in pretty dominant fashion over a pretty uh, no slouch of an opponent. And that's it. Your winner and still TV champion. The Mask Warrior, Richard Wright's got to go back to the drawing board as he will be put down the line in championship contending. Coming soon, a new faction debuting in DCWA, Lucha Nova. Thanks for tuning in tonight. This has been... Stay tuned for a couple of announcements for Gold Rush. Coming soon to DCWA Full Throttle. Go Rush, our annual, season annual match card that has all the championships in DCWA on the line. You will see in two weeks at Gold Rush, you will see the hardcore championship of the Dark Sheep put on the line in a steel cage match. You will see a very special opponent, a world-traveled wrestling vet, a fighting wrestling vet coming in to challenge Leroy Brown for that real shoot championship. The TV title will be on the line. We will have the tag team championships on the line. We will have the finals of our women's title tournament decided at Goal Rush. Who will leave the victor, the women's title. All championships on the line at Goal Rush. It promises to be an explosive event. Tune in next week for the debut of Lucha Nova. Tune in a week after for Goal Rush. Thank you for tuning in as always. I am the Motor City Madman with our various technical difficulties. Hopefully they will be uh, fixed by Goal Rush. Uh, if not, tune in 605 Sundays for DCWA Full Throttle. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great night and peace.